Welcome to the R video tutorial on scatter plots in R part five. Points and more points. Again, well, we're going to pick up where we left off in the part four video, and we're going to take off and actually redo it in a much easier way. So, first off, let's remember what we did. So, if you remember, we had our babies data set, which we're going to read in here again, even though it's already in my working directory. And if you've been watching the last video, it's probably already in your uh, environment as well. And notice it had 23 observations, and then I subsetted it to baby 12, 24, and 3 so that I could plot each one. Now, and if you also remember, it was kind of a pain because I had to worry about limits in the x axis and the y axis. But this one example shows you lots of things at once, and this was the picture that I ended up with. I had uh, points that were in C green, I had points that were in red, and I had points that were in blue, and I had a legend that's put on here. So let's see if we can't do this a little bit easier than we did last time. So what I'm going to do is put here, create a scatter plot, and I'm going to use the same idea that I had before. So I'm going to use baby one and X one, baby one, x2 and I'm going to put in the x label like I did before because that all is going to be the same and I'm going to put the y label as x2 because that will be the same. Uh, the big thing that I'm going to change here is when I put in the color. So instead of putting in the color, I'm going to uh, actually put on a vector of colors. I'm going to just put in baby one dollar sign age because those are numbers and let's see what this does so when i run this what happened well what it did was it actually put all the points on there at once and notice that each group is in a different color so it did sort of what i had before but it it did it all on its own and it changed its colors now part of the problem here is <laughs> I have to like the colors that it chose because my age are numbers, but this was a whole lot easier than dealing with it otherwise uh, because, you know, before I had to subset the data, worry about X limits, Y limits, all of that, uh, and hope that everything was going to look good. So here I get virtually the same picture. All I have to do is add a main on this. And let's see what I call it last time. X1 or X2 versus x1 just to be slightly different uh, i'm still gonna need to put a legend on this thing and uh how did i do it last time 0 0.25 and 400 that's the x coordinate and the y coordinate of the top left location uh, my names that i had here were three months i'll put three month 12 month and 24 month. All right, and then the colors here, I have to be careful because I actually have to know these values. In this case, it was three, 12, and 24. And this should do it for us. Let's see if it works. Notice we know it's kind of not gonna work because we're putting a legend on here. You can just see we have the problem that we had before. So we're going to have to solve it the way we solved it before, which is exporting the picture because this is just a problem inside of our studio. Maybe they'll fix it in the future and you're watching this video and you go, I don't have that problem. Uh, that would be great. Uh, but right now, uh, in our current situation, this is our problem. So I'm going to come here and export this and then go look for it. So I'm going to run this real, real quick. I'm putting it on the desktop. I'm going to go to my desktop. And here's babies two. And here's my picture. And I have, oh wait, I forgot the point characters. So don't forget point characters and things like that because very simple little mistakes can cause you to not get the result that you want. So let's come back here and PCH this thing. Point characters were one, one, and one. Of course, you could change it, mix it up for yourself, so it looks a little bit different, but this is where we're at. Let's give this a go again. 
Babies 2, it's a PDF, and notice it has the points on here. So the gray is 24 months, the blue is 12 months, and the green is 3 months. And that was much easier than doing it the previous way. Uh, so keep that in mind. There's always usually one more, more than one way to do these things inside of R. All right, so uh, this has been the R video tutorial on adding more points again. Uh, in the next video tutorial, we're going to talk about how to add lines to this particular picture. All right, see you in the next video.